How's she going folks? I'm Nev from Nev's Tack Bits. Today I want to take a look at and do a teardown of the Super Enterprise 44 level uh, electronic chess board. Now, once again, I'm always really into chess boards, electronic chess boards, because there's just something freaking romantic about technology that uh, communicates with you and plays against you in the classical chess setting. Once again, special system, 44 levels, as far as old school consumer electronics go when it comes to chess. This one, uh, this one was pretty good. There's a very particular chip in it. This is sold under different brands. The, uh, the standard Enterprise version was very poor Portable Super Enterprise, of course, it's very big, and this is sold under about two or three different names. This really looks like something you'd get in Radio Shack in the 80s, in the 90s, made in Hong Kong. And uh, yeah, 44 levels of playing uh, capability, 16 levels, increasing game strength, yada yada, problem solving, all kinds of good stuff. This was this, uh, pretty good for its time. I found, I found this on my front door, actually. Apparently one of my neighbors dropped it off. Uh, they didn't even know that I liked uh, doing teardowns of uh, digital chess boards. But they knew that I love technology. I guess they found it and they dropped it off to me. So this thing's actually worth a few dollars. I mean, it's worth uh, about 50 bucks with everything. I've seen someone asking 150, but never believe what you see on eBay. When, when you look on eBay and you see things uh, listed for certain prices, that's not how much they're worth. It's how much some jerk is asking for it. And at the same time, just because something sold doesn't mean it was paid for. There's a situation where uh, a guy bid like, a million bucks for a bunch of Jurassic Park pogs, but he never actually paid for them, believe. I'm really curious what's up with this, why we got this spot right here. The system feels really well built. It's pretty solid. So I'm not finding a date for this unit when I look at the user manual, but check that out. That was made on a dot matrix printer. That takes me back. I did a little bit of research and it definitely looks like the program for this was made in the 80s. I got a really strong sense this was purchased at Radio Shack in Mount Forest in the 80s. Oh yeah, easy open, here we go. This is back before the time's eclipse, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, look. Look how little is actually in there. Look how little is actually going on. There was actually nothing going on back here. Why would they even put something there? Maybe that was in case you wanted to use an expandable board or something like this. Okay, okay, well, I'm seeing a year here, 1986. 1986. That is a very particular type of chip, this CXG, the system chip. This thing is rocking all the romance of the last one, but there's so much going on. The last, uh, the last chessboard that I took apart. Check that out. Old school brown circuit. That's not even printed circuit board. The printer must be on the other side, right? Well, only one way to find out. There she blows. Printed circuit board on the back side. Geez, that's interesting. And then they put the chips on this side. I'm always used to seeing them over here. You can see exactly where they would have went. Why'd they do it like this? There must be a reason. I got some really intelligent commenters that'll be able to tell me exactly why that is. Why did they mount these on the opposite side? It must have been some kind of production thing. Oh man, they didn't terminate the speakers. I hate it when they do that. So we're getting under the button pickups, taking a look at the buttons. All right, it's kind of a clicky membrane. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for the 80s. Pretty good for the 80s. And then the buttons just wee. All right. Oh, so the board controlling, I guess you could call this a daughter board, it's powered by a a Sanyo LC7580 chip. We got on the back here. Hello? What's, oh yeah, that's the, the uh, LED screen, LCD screen. I really think this thing's been put together pretty nicely, I gotta say. All right, the next thing I always wanna know is how does the board know where everything is? Looks like we got the board clipped in uh, the metallic face over here. All right, after fighting with the board for a bit, we can see, here's what it looks like. This looks a lot like the uh, DDR pads. We can see you had the pickups on the bottom that went in directly to the motherboard. And yeah, just like a certain type of keyboard, just like the DDR pads. That's how she works. And the metal plate was there just for weight. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting. I love this stuff. Anyways, I'm going to go do some more research on this chip. Have a good one, folks. Take care of each other.